Hello, we're going to do a maths cast now on writing fractions as percentages. So, let's begin. There's two ways we can do this question. We can either do it with a calculator or without a calculator. So, firstly, we're going to have a go at a calculator question. So, James gets 15 out of 40 in his Spanish test. What is this as a percentage? So, what we have to do is we have to look at what he got. He got 15 out of 40. So we write that as a fraction. Now the way we change a fraction into a percentage is by timesing it by 100. So on a calculator we can do this straight away. We can do 15 divided by 40 because that's what this fraction means here. And then we're going to multiply the answer by 100 and press equals and when we do that we get 37.5 so with a calculator, it's very easy. We firstly start by writing whatever the question is as a fraction, and then we multiply it by 100 to change it into a percentage. Right, now we're going to have a go at a question without a calculator. So this question, without a calculator. Sam invites 25 people to his party. 20 turn up. What percentage attend his party? So, firstly, we need to start the same way with a fraction. Will 20 people go to his party out of 25? So we write the fraction as 20 out of 25. The only thing this time is I can't times it by 100 because we haven't got a calculator. So it's a little bit too hard. So we need a different method. So our job this time is to try and make the fraction which at the minute is 20 out of 25, if we make the fraction something out of 100. So then we have a look and we see if we can work out what to do. Well, how did we go from 25 to 100? We would have to times by 4. So we do the same to the top, also times by 4. So 20 times 4 is 80. So I've rewritten the fraction 20 out of 25 has now become 80 out of 100. And that's really good because if 100's on the bottom, then we know that it's just whatever the number is at the top. So the answer's 80%. So 80% of people attended his party. So this is without a calculator. The job is to make the bottom number of the fraction 100. Right, we're going to have a go at a third example now, a slightly more tricky one. So again, this question is without a calculator. So the question says, express 12 out of 40 as a percentage. So without a calculator, our method is to first write it as a fraction. So let's write 12 out of 40 as a fraction. And as I said a moment ago, our job is try and turn it in the bottom number into 100. Well, it's a little bit hard to turn the bottom number into 100 here. Uh, I don't know how to go from 40, the bottom number, straight to 100. So we need a slightly different method. So let's see if we can change it, make the numbers smaller. Now, if I divide the top number of the fraction by 4 and the bottom number of the fraction by 4, this will help me a lot. 12 divided by 4 will give me 3 on the top. 40 divided by 4 will give me 10 on the bottom. So 12 out of 40... I've now rewritten it as 3 out of 10. This is very, very useful because I can now change 3 out of 10 into something out of 100. So how do we make the bottom number 10 turn into 100? Well, we multiply it by 10. So you do the same to the top, multiply by 10, and you'll get 30 on the top out of 100. So 30 out of 100 is just 30%, which is our answer. So you can see this question was a little bit different because we had to get the, um, the bottom number. We had to change it to something first before we could turn it into 100. Uh, right, here are some practice questions for you to have a go at. Uh, this side is with a calculator and this side is without a calculator. Good luck. <laughs>